A very good morning to you, my good brothers and good sisters. Good morning to you, good brothers and good sisters. Father Uday Kumar and Vijay reporting to you this morning. Saying that the morning is good is blessed by the Lord. Okay? So have a wonderful morning. Father Uday Kumar is going to talk to us today. Something that I heard him speak about today, this evening. What exactly is when Jesus is on the seaside and the fishermen have caught nothing and then Jesus says, go into the deep and put out your nets. Father, please explain that. In the gospel about uh, Jesus asking Peter to put out the nets. Now, Peter and his companions have gone whole night of fishing and they have caught nothing. Now Jesus comes and says to them early in the morning to put out their nets for the catch. Right. Now I'd like to speak about these two personalities. God's ways are not our ways. Correct. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Correct. Human logic is nothing to do with God's logic. Correct. God's logic goes beyond all kinds of human logic. Amen. Now look at these two personalities, Peter and Jesus. Peter, a born fisherman who knew fishing, who knew the time of fishing, who knew the place of fishing. Correct. Now such a good fisherman yes. goes in the night for fishing and he does not find any right. fish at all. Right. Now the carpenter who does not know anything about fishing, <laughs> a carpenter comes to the fisherman early in the morning and says to Peter, the fisherman, throw your nets. And logically Peter says, you see, the logic, what does he say? Lord, I am a fisherman, whole night I have gone for fishing and we have not found anything. Correct. But he does not stop with that. That's the beauty of uh, Peter. We have tried all night long, but we are not caught. What does he say? But because you say, so, see, this is what? Because you say, I will throw the net. And early in the morning, because a carpenter says that, uh, he throws the net. And what a miracle happens. Okay. What a miracle happens. The fishes are being caught and Peter is surprised and he goes back, falls to the feet of Jesus and says, Depart from me, Lord, I am a sinner. No logic there. How can it be? Correct. But for God, there is no logic. Right. Now, when we apply this one to our lives, sir, logic, what is logic? You see, when a husband and wife are fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, logic, they go to a counselor. And the counselor trying to bring them back together, but they never accept each other. They cannot reconcile. And what is the last solution? Logically, they say, we must divorce. Correct. Like Peter. If they say one word more and say, because you say Lord. Yes. Logically, divorce. Correct. But because you say Lord, what does Jesus say? This is what Jesus says. Correct. What God has put together, let no man put in a cellar. Very true. You see, a miracle will happen. Peter says, Lord, I have tried everything, but because you say, okay. and he threw the net, yeah. a miracle took place. Look at Mother Mary. Can be, can a virgin be a mother and still call her a virgin? Can she give birth to a child? Sorry. Can you call a virgin a mother? Correct. Is it possible? This is human logic. Correct. Correct. This is human logic. Humanly speaking, it is not at all possible. Possible. Yes. But you go one step ahead and say, because you say, Lord. What does the Lord say? Nothing is impossible with God. A ninety-five-year-old man, Abraham, and an old lady. Sorry. They were promised. That you will have a child. And they had a child. Amen. Look at the old man in the New Testament. Elizabeth and Zechariah. They said that you will have a child. And they had a child. Correct. In the book of Samuel. 
they speak about this impossibility is not for God. Right. Because you say, Lord, a miracle will happen. happen. Look at the Eucharist, an ordinary bread and ordinary wine. Okay. The shape of the bread is same, the size of the bread is same, same. the taste of the bread is same okay. before consecration. Yes. After the consecration, it's the same. Yeah. The taste is same, the size is same, the the the, the color is same, is same, the right? content, everything. But now we say it is the body of Christ, the blood of Christ. Yeah. Human logic says it is not possible. Correct. But like Peter, if you say, if you say Lord, what does he say? Take and eat. This is my body. body. Yes. Take and drink. This is, this is my blood. Right. Can it be done? Yes. Nothing is impossible with God. Please, God. Look at this ordinary priest, a sinner, a sinner who is unworthy to be a priest. Now, when he sits for confession, people logically say, How can I go to the sinner who he himself is a sinner and he himself does every day commit sin? Right. And how can I go and confess to the sinner and how is he able to absorb me? Sins, yes. This is human logic. Correct. But go one step further than the logic. Because you say, Lord. Amen. You say, what does he say? Amen. To Peter he says, Who? A sinner. A man. Yes. Who betrayed him three times. Who said, I am. I don't know him at all. Correct. To such a man he says, Whosoever sins you forgive, your sins will be forgiven. Forgive him. Whosoever sins you don't forgive, it shall not be forgiven. Shall not be forgiven. And therefore, don't stuck on or stick on to human logic. Okay. Go beyond. You want to experience a miracle? Go beyond. Yeah. Go beyond human logic okay. and bring into the thoughts of God. A miracle will happen in your life. Amen. 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 Beautiful. This is okay. I think you'll revive this because he's explained so beautifully. Let God's will take place in your lives. It's just that. We people will try, but we are sinners, we are unworthy people, but God can work miracles in our lives. With that, on that note, I'll ask Father to pray for all of us so that we accept God's will in our lives. Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty God, our thoughts are not your thoughts. Lord. Yes, God, yes, God. Your ways are not our ways, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Your logic is not human logic, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It goes everything beyond yes. these thoughts, these ways, and this logic. Yes, Lord. And therefore, miracle can happen to anyone. Yes, Lord. To any person. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Who, like Peter says, because you say, Lord. Amen. Because you say. And God says, even today, your families will be restored. Yes, Lord. Yes. God says, even today, you will have peace in your families. Yes. Lord. God says, even today, that you will have a job if you have lost your job. Amen. 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 God will say to you today that you will come back to me. Jesus. And let the words of Peter vibrate into each one of us and say, Lord, Depart from me, I am a sinful man. Amen. Amen. Therefore, let us trust and hope in God that God will always do whatever He wants us to do in our lives. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you. Bless this day, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.